Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here. We've um, just started moving into our garage, as you can possibly see behind me. So uh, everything's in a bit of a mess at the minute, but um, as you can see, we're floor to ceiling with uh, stag parts, uh, ready for when UNY49M comes home. So really looking forward to that and a uh, very exciting time. I'll show you more uh, perhaps on another video about the new garage. Anyway, uh, it's been a bit of a project, but we got there. So all good. All right, so today we've got uh, some news from Down Under, a gentleman called Scott, who over Christmas sent me in lots of photographs of his Triumph Stag rebuild. Uh, he sent in a story as well, so I'll show you the pictures and also just uh, talk you through some of the narrative that he sent about the restoration of his lovely stag. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. Okay, so meet Scott, and as he says in his uh, email to me, um, wasn't too sure where to begin really, because a year ago he decided to buy another stag as a birthday present to himself, and to replace the one that he had to sell uh, almost 25 years ago. And he decided to find, where possible, the best one he could structure, and one that was preferably in the late model range too, as he kind of quite liked the colour painted rear tail and the chrome sill covers and the alloy wheels that comes with those later models and he settled on a russet brown stag in the end not just for the colour as he rightly smiles to himself but also for its body soundness as he was with the paint it was going to be removed for the bare metal respray and actually that proved his inspection to be correct. Now the car was a one owner having been owned by a solicitor in Sydney and for many years stored in a warehouse but upon his death, sadly, the car was given a basic service and minor repairs to pass registration again. Then the car was disposed of by the family with all the service books and repair manuals, which was obviously, you know, really good that it was going to be used again. But no filler was present uh, from any previous accidents and the floor pan was clean and rust free, he found. Um, so he basically purchased the car without driving it as he knew that he'd be taking it straight off the road as soon as he got it home. And that's exactly what he did. So he stripped off all the chrome work from the vehicle and upon inspection found all to be good condition and not requiring a re-chrome which is as you know can be a, a tricky thing and um, once at the painters he removed the doors and the bonnet and the boot and began stripping the car back to bare metal. Um, he's a bit of a stickler for originality and he, so he decided straight away that he'd keep the car in its original colour russet brown therefore saving a lot of the stripping under the dash and in the fiddly parts that as we all know can be very difficult to reach. He sent both the engine away for machining after wrestling the heads off and uh, they can be really tricky as many of us know and breaking two studs on either side in the process. Now also while everything was away he got the vehicle up in the air and really started to get stuck in on the jet washing the underside using a high pressure water hose and removing all the grime that had built up over the last 50 years of use. He decided also then to replace all removed bolts with new ones in the UNF and UNC grading as necessary and also to replace any parts as they were easy to get at while the engine and transmission were away. So he decided at this stage also that he wanted to add air conditioning for the Australian summer which as we know can get extremely hot down there and to find an original system ideally working. And this was proving very very hard in fact too hard to do so he went with an under dash model that was recommended to him but with a twist in the fact that it uh, wanted to run the condenser at the front as per the original fitments on the Mark 1 cars in front of the radiator at an angle with a fan on top. For originality he also tracked down an original metal fan shroud that Aussie cars were fitted with when air conditioning was fitted to standard. Now being a mechanic for over 40 years uh, Scott had never actually rebuilt an engine and the stag was really his first complete rebuild by himself and overall he's extremely happy with the result and I'm sure you'll share with me uh, to see what uh, fantastic job he's done. Now he went with the Rimmer's screw-on oil filter assembly but tracked down an original looking Ryko oil filter of similar appearance to the original housing and size. The carburettors were rebuilt by a specialist and these need a little bit of tweaking after 300 kilometres have passed uh, but overall the build went very smoothly with Rimmers providing much of the parts involved uh, but of course from his side of the uh, planet the downside is the wait for getting parts to be delivered although I do know they're pretty quick but nevertheless it's a long time uh, and if you needed something in a hurry he says you, you can't just pop down to your local Triumph spare parts seller as we can over here in the UK. 
The wheels themselves he sourced from another seller in Western Australia as he'd had them reconditioned and his needed doing anyway. So instead he purchased his and swapped the new tyres over and sold the old ones to recoup some of the cost with the new ones, which was uh, a good plan. Now Scott says that he didn't repaint every little thing that he removed, and but actually instead he cleaned, he tested and overhauled whatever was needed for smooth, safe running. And he figured that over time, things will have to be removed and tended to anyway. So he'll take that opportunity to repaint them then. So as he says, I have hopefully reproduced a usable car as close to coming from the factory um, and out into the real world, including the emission hoses, as possible for him to enjoy it as much as possible too. Hopefully, as he says, this little insight has helped you, me, TR Tony, and uh, all the Arius Tag fans put together uh, their cars and uh, sharing in the story of this marvellous vehicle. And uh, great news, Scott. Fantastic work. I think we'll all agree with you. You've done a top-notch job. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, really good to see Scott's work. It's um, been a labour of love and I know he's been on a big journey with this, as we all do, going through this uh, restoration process with these beloved cars of ours. Uh, Scott probably isn't a stranger to some of you who are part of the Saturday Sockets email and uh, it's something we send out every week. Uh, it's kind of off-camera shenanigans and so on. It's free to uh, to get it to your inbox. If you're not a member already, please just uh, get in touch and uh, you can sign up and get that every weekend. Uh, so he's been sharing with us a few pictures now and then of the uh, various stages of his rebuild. So it's been really good to see that. Uh, but I thought uh, it was well deserved of putting it into a film and uh, celebrating what a great achievement you've done, Scott. So fantastic, mate. Well done. Fantastic. Awesome achievement. Um, and uh, over Christmas we did actually send him an Ari the Stag bobblat uh, to say thanks for all his hard work uh, because people who do good stuff for the channel as you know get this highly deserved prize of an Ari the Stag bobblat so that's all great and I'm quickly looking around because over here somewhere we've got uh, an equivalent version for, uh, for all you Aussies down there and uh, this does come out once in a while so uh, there you go time a kangaroo down sport there you go how's that uh, good day to all you guys in Oz, thanks very much. <laughs> and uh, to Scott, well done. Uh, congratulations, some fantastic work, fella. Oh, awesome. And uh, I know it can be a tough old journey, this, but uh, well done. You prevailed and you've got a fantastic looking car. And I'm sure everybody watching the channel will be uh, really uh, more than happy to, to share that. Uh, uh, well done. Pat on the back from me as well. Good. OK, well, hope you're having a great week wherever you are, guys. And uh, don't forget to sign up for Saturday Sockets and uh, your badge of honour wherever you like. And uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. All the best. Cheers for now. G'day, sport. Time for a barbie. <laughs> Not here, fella. It's minus four at night. <laughs> All the best. See you, guys.